Hello guys, welcome to another session of Jay's Viewpoints. In this session, we are going to talk about Ghana's first president, or certified Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. And in just an aspect, my question is, why are they hiding the books of Kwame Nkrumah from us? I'm a Ghanaian. Every Ghanaian will bear witness with me that throughout your education, from primary to JHS, all you know about Kwame Nkrumah is that he was the first president of Ghana. He fought for independence. Even now, our current president is trying to discredit him for leading the independence race, but no, the youth of today cannot be deceived. So I wouldn't talk that much about that now. We are all aware that Kwame Nkrumah led the race to independence. But my question is, why are they hiding the books of Kwame Nkrumah from us? Are you aware that when Kwame Nkrumah was overthrown, any material of his was hidden from the scene, some were bent, how many school libraries in Ghana, even the universities? At my university studies, I was someone who frequented the library, but never saw a book by or certificate of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. In fact, I even never knew that Kwame Nkrumah ever wrote books. It was in recent times that I came to discover that Kwame Nkrumah wrote a lot of books. Are you aware that Kwame Nkrumah wrote over 20 books? So now in our studies from lower primary, upper primary, JHS, there were segments of our studies that we studied about Kwame Nkrumah. But we, that was not even a study. That was just mentioning of him. Because compared to what we could have known about Kwame Nkrumah, what they told, what we were taught was just a mention of his name. But my question is, why are they, why did they hide his books from us? And why are they still hiding his books from us? Yesterday was a holiday in the nation of Ghana, 5th of, of August. And it was tagged, it's tagged what? Founders Day. What is Founders Day about the holiday? When we barely know much about Osage of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Someone who led this nation to obtain independence. How many people lead a nation to attain independence? Remember, the nation has been under colonialism for a long time. So, someone who has that audacity, someone who has such level of boldness, in fact, on his first trial, he was imprisoned. And he came back from prison and still fought for independence and gained it. Such people have a different kind of mindset. Such people have a different kind of audacity. So why are they hiding materials that we could have learned about this person's character, this person's mindset, the reason he did was able to achieve what he achieved. Why are they hiding such materials from us? No, we will no more be ignorant. I was just searching on online. In fact, you can do you can do your search because many book titles, many of his book titles will be popping up, and I'll be mentioning them here. You can just search online or search with Dr. Kwame Nkrumah or books by or search with Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. You will find over 20 books written by or search with Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. And when you discover the titles of the books, you will understand the reason why they are hiding his books from us. Throughout my years of study in the nation of Ghana, from lower primary to tertiary, I never read any book of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. It was never recommended to us. 
there, it was not, not even mentioned that he wrote such such books which you, you could read yet we were reading books by adam smith we were reading books by abraham maslow we were even reading nigerian books things fall apart yet no book by someone as important to this nation as the one who led Ghana to independence. That is just a food for thought. Why are they hiding his books from us? Like I said, just search online. His books are available on Amazon. His books are available on some other book stores. Some of the books, when I even check, they said the copy is not available now. They get only one copy every six months. I was surprised. Some of the books, when I checked, they said they only get a hard copy every once, one, only one hard copy every six months. Today, I'm, I'm challenging you because I've taken that, that challenge upon myself to start getting access to these books because they are available. They are available online to be bought on Amazon. But I'm wondering if Ghanaian libraries will have them in their shops. I'm wondering. I'm just wondering because I've never I've not found one yet. If um, my subscribers, if if or you are anyone who is watching, if you are aware of any part of Ghana where we can get access to books. Or materials written by Society for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Please kindly leave it in the comment section below so that we can all have access to these materials. Because we need to get out of ignorance and stay enlightened. Now, the reason why we need to get access to the materials of Society for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah is to know his mindset. I always tell people that we have not really had a leader like Osage Food Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. To have a leader like Osage Food Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, we need a leader, one, who is bold enough to fight for economic independence for this nation. That's why, for me, I recommend Cheddar. Nana Kwan Bidi Don't you, don't you hear what the guy says? He says, the spirit of Osajibu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. He's talking about the, the, the kind of spirit, the kind of character, the kind of boldness, the kind of mindset that the man carried. Is what he's carrying. We need to have access to his materials. Now, I'm going to mention some of his materials his books that he wrote in just a moment and we need to know what was written in these books and let me tell you the reason why certain groups have made up their minds to keep us in ignorance is because they fear that upon our discovery we will not regard them anymore and not just that, we will start taking the kind of steps that Osajifu Dr. Kwame Nkuma took to gain independence from, for Ghana. And the youth of today will start taking the same steps to gain economic independence for this nation. Because this nation is independent but not economically independent. In one of Kwame Nkuma's books, you will discover colonialism and neocolonialism and imperialism. What do you understand by that? You will understand the reason why, even though we claim we have freedom, we are still being ruled. And so we don't have economic freedom. Now, I'm going to give the list of, of Kwame Nkrumah's books that I've discovered so far. And I'm reading these ones. One, neocolonialism the last stage of imperialism 
Question. Do you know about neocolonialism? Do you know about imperialism? Why are they hiding these from us? The second book, Class Struggle in Africa. As you can see it on your screen. Third book, Conscientism, Philosophy and Ideology for Decolonization. Next one, Ghana, the Autobiography of Kwame Nkrumah. Next one, Africa must unite. Africa, must, you see the things that the man stood for. Africa must unite. Okay. Next one. Dark days in Ghana. Dark days in Ghana. Next one. Handbook of Revolutionary Warfare. Hmm. Next one. I speak of freedom. Next one. Challenge, challenge of the Congo. And then the next, revolutionary path. The next, towards colonial freedom. Africa in the struggle against world. Next one, Axioms of Kwame Nkrumah, Freedom Fighters Edition. Next one, Voice from Conakry. Next one, The Struggle Continues. Next one, Some Essential Features of in Krumaism. Next one, Selected Speeches of Kwame Nkrumah, Volume 1. So the Selected Speeches of Kwame Nkrumah, they have, there is Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4, Volume 5. Next one, Hands of Africa. Did you hear that? Hands of Africa. He is trying to tell some people to take their hands off Africa. Next one, this one is in French, so I can't read it. So he wrote some books in French. Uh, I can try, but I'm not sure. L'Afrique doit s'unir. Then the next one, Africa debe unir. Uh, the French, forgive me on this. I'm, I'm trying my best. Next one, Kwame Nkrumah. I think these are French ones, so I wouldn't... Uh, so the man... The man was trying to communicate to the whole of Africa. African Affairs addressed to Ghana National Assembly. Address delivered by Osagifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Padmo, the missionary. Guide to party action. Correspondence exchange between Osagifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. The new stage, CPP versus imperialism. Correspondence exchange between Osage for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. The question is, do we know what these books entail? I'm challenging you today, I'm challenging myself to get some of these books and read them. And I'll be giving links, we'll even be doing some reviews on some of the books as time goes on. I would have to end this session here for the sake of time. But as you know, we'll be coming back with new episodes. This one was just to challenge us to, 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 to bring us some preview into this. We have just begun. That's why I said, listen to Nana Kwan Bidiak. And you, you, you will see how he aligns with some of these visions from Kwan Nkrumah. And he has said it before, he said, what he started, he's coming to continue. And he's not, he's not mincing words. I will, uh, like I said, for the sake of time, let's end this segment here. Please kindly remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and also the notification bell. So anytime we release a new one, you'll be one of the first to receive it. Thank you very much for seeing me on this one. See you guys on the next episode. Peace out.